In the end, I think the best word to describe what we saw today at the Akron Stadium in Guadalajara is disappointment. Canelo disappointed his own fans. Why? Because he lacked resources, I don't know if technical or mental, to finish with a limited rival as John Ryder was called, who did have a lot of heart, who was very brave, but who really, in the end, never meant any danger for Canelo. I saw a tired Canelo, a slow Canelo, out of rhythm, lacking resources, lacking boxing imagination, and I saw a Canelo who, given the great opportunity he had to convince his fans, his people, he lacked heart, he lacked spirit. He had the opportunity to throw everything he had for the knockout against John Ryder. When he had it in the fifth episode, I thought he was going to try to flatten him, to take him to the ropes, and to destroy him, to accommodate him, to destroy another human being. But he didn't do it. I still think Canelo has entered a somewhat complicated stage of his career. His last three fights, including this one, have not been convincing. Duvall practically finished him in the 175 LBS, but he had that excuse. Then he faced a 42-year-old Gennady Golovkin, and he also had his problems, and now he's facing a rival like John Ryder, who is not in the big boxing leagues. Canelo has to have self-criticism and analyze what he wants to do for his career. If he's very distracted, if he already has a lot of money, if he's lost his appetite, if he's going to spend it playing golf, but he has to focus. Because I do want to warn you one thing. This Canelo will never beat Duvall, and this Canelo will never beat David Benavides. Vengeance is mine. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. That was David Fatelson. He's an analyst and reporter out of Mexico. You guys heard his thoughts post-fight after Canelo versus John Ryder. And I thought he was on the money. Now, the funny thing is, what David Fatelson just told you was exactly what I've been telling you. Ego Stradamus strikes again. Vengeance is mine. I think everything he said about Canelo was fair. He said his last three fights have not been convincing. Bevo practically finished him in the light heavyweight division. You fought a 41, 42 year old Gennady had no guys, had Max Golovkin, and the back half of you didn't look good. He says now you're fighting a guy like John Ryder, who is not anywhere near the big leagues of boxing, and it wasn't a convincing performance. You had all these people, 50,000 plus, first fight back in Mexico, and that's what you treated them to. You know, a limited rival and a fight that drug on for 12 rounds. And the only real takeaway is John Ryder showed a lot of heart and he was tougher. So in the end, I think John Ryder wins, which is what I've always said, because he was expected to do nothing or to do very little. So the fact that he had a broken nose, swallowing blood, can't breathe, and he's going 12 rounds in somebody else's country, you know, of Mexico, in front of 50,000 rabid fans, that says a lot about his, you know, stones and his fortitude and his cojones. So I'm going to continue doing my thing and building my channel and making my assessments. It's funny that the Canelo Chupapi Muñeños, the Canelo fans, a lot of them, they don't want Canelo to face any criticism. When I say things about Canelo, I'm the bad guy. Some people even take it a step further and say, I'm being racist. But you have Canelo's own countrymen from Mexico who has frequently criticized the same things as me, the American, right? So the walls are closing in for Canelo. Nacho Beristein, Juan Manuel Marquez, David Fatelson. A lot of the conversations about Canelo are very similar. And I want to make this distinction. Shout out to Mexico. Because when it comes to the people of Mexico, they are true boxing fans see canelo has people confused because if you look at a lot of the replies in the comment section it's always in english these are like chicano fans gringos who come to canelo's defense and say canelo's the greatest mexican ever and don't know the history and boxing historia right but it's the people of mexico who cherish the sport of boxing and i think that's why they booed canelo later in the fight like 
you know, we trying to go to the club. Like, this this is still on. You can't get them out of here or, like, you know, make it more exciting or whatever. Take chances. So now, again, this is what happens when you do fights like John Ryder that no one really requested. It only leaves you and opens you up for criticism. You know, there's not much you could take away positive for Canelo. You got a guy with a broken nose who can't breathe and he's flat footed and he just seems to survive do you have the hunger are you golfing are you a full-time golfer now right because if i had to have my say if david benavidez or david morrell fought john Ryder, he'd be stretchered out especially if he had a broken nose in round two or three it would be over shortly thereafter now the video you've seen at the beginning where i subtitled it that was also translated it was actually in spanish but there um, my channel is american so i go through these extra steps to make the content immersive so if you could support the channel multiple ways to do it subscribe hit the like button thank you to everyone for the super thanks and the cash apps so i can continue to provide excellence let me know what you think of david fatelson of mexico espn elos gopez and his thoughts on Canelo Alvarez's performance versus John Ryder, which are identical to mine. I'm the best in the business.